hey guys, Louie here, and uh, I have seen uh, uh, several videos uh, recently in the community talking about the loss of the uh, YouTube video editor. Um, they have taken that away from us, and it was a perfectly awful app. I think it was one of the worst apps I've ever used. Um, I gave it up a couple of years ago uh, in favor of a different uh, system of making videos. Um, but uh, and I'm going to go into that in a minute as a recommendation for you. D it doesn't surprise me that YouTube has uh, taken away yet another um, uh, another tool from our community. It seems like they they won't be happy until they've chased every single channel uh, that's under 10,000 subs out of YouTube. But uh, nonetheless, this is our community, and I think we should hold on to it. It's still the best place uh, going for sharing information and ideas about uh, precious metal stacking. And, uh, you know, I'd like to try to make it a better place. And if I can help anybody to uh, get through this dilemma of uh, how to edit your videos, uh, then, then I'd be thrilled. Um, uh, I'm going to start by saying that uh, this is a recommendation for um, iMovie and for MacBook uh, laptop, for a MacBook laptop. So if you don't have the money to invest um, in those kinds of, uh, of products, then you can just skip the video. Obviously, you know, you're not, uh, you're not going to want to spend money. But, um, but if you do um, have the money to invest in your hobby, and uh, you think that's worthwhile because you get a lot of enjoyment out of it and you, you want to bring uh, good quality videos to the community, um, then come on along. I'll show you what I use. Uh, you know, just the one statement right up front is um, no matter how good your videos are, you know, YouTube is not going to pay you much for, for monetizing in this community. I bet there are probably, you know, five channels probably that make more than a hundred dollars a month uh, doing this and I'm not one of them. Um, so I uh, don't think you're going to get the money back by creating uh, wonderful videos in the precious metals community. However, if you do want to do uh, videos about, uh, you know, funny animals or people jumping off roofs or, uh, you know, Call of Duty uh, gaming, uh, that seems to be the stuff that YouTube does value and uh, that would definitely uh, probably pay well compared to what we do. So moving on, um, uh, the reason that I'm doing this uh, shout out for, uh, I, for uh, MacBook and iMovie is um, that uh, it is just so intuitive. It is... Um, that's why this gal is so happy here. She's using a Mac. And, uh, you know, I spent my entire life avoiding uh, Apple products and uh, MacBooks. Um, but uh, faced with the dilemma of how to create a decent video on YouTube and to do, uh, do them a little more regularly, I needed a video uh, um, editing application that uh, was simple. I'm kind of a neophyte when it comes to uh, computers and uh, software, so that is not my expertise, and I'm not one for studying manuals, etc. So uh, when I reviewed all the vi edi uh, video editing software out there, uh, starting with the free software, um, and I even tried some uh, some demos and uh, free you know free periods of time. I found them utterly confusing, hard to follow, and way more than I needed. I just wanted to do a good quality uh, video, you know, maybe a ten to fifteen minute video uh, that has uh, you know some interesting effects for YouTube. That was my primary purpose. When I researched that, I found uh, that iMovie was uh, definitely a very powerful asset. Um, iMovie, if you go to, um, let, let's go over to eBay. Okay, here are some listings for um, the MacBook Air. Now that is what I have. When you buy um, a, uh, a later model MacBook uh, laptop, um, and, and desktop as well. Uh, it will come with iMovie embedded, and I'm going to do a review of iMovie, the version I have, uh, right after this. But um, let me show you what I bought. So uh, you have to have a MacBook that is powerful enough to uh, run the iMovie version that you want. Uh, the older MacBooks uh, come with older versions of iMovie, and, and those are fine. But if you want to get into 4K resolution and so forth, you, you're really going to have to stay in uh, mid-2014 and later MacBook Pros. 
However, you don't really need to do 4K. Um, you know, you, you can certainly do, um, you know, something less than that. It would still be fine quality, so you could, you could make do with one of these used MacBooks. I bought mine used. Uh, let me show you my spec real quickly here, out of here. Okay, uh, this is what I'm running. I'm running uh, uh, Sierra on, uh, uh, that's version 10.12.6 on my 2014 uh, MacBook Pro. I did buy this used. It has 2.2 gigahertz uh, Intel Core i7, 16 gigabytes of memory. All right, so I think that that's key, that I, I have more than your average amount of memory. If you're going to go with an older model, uh, 2013, 2012, um, I, would, I would opt for the 8 uh, 8 gigabytes if you can get it. I probably would avoid 4 gigs and I would really try to stay into the 2013-2014 uh, um, if I could, if I could afford it, right? And uh, what happens with Apple is the, these laptops last forever, work forever, they don't get viruses, they are, it's such a quality product. I had a thousand dollar Lenovo um, laptop that I found perfectly useless for video editing, and um, I never use it anymore. I use I, I use this Apple, this Mac became my primary go-to computer, uh, especially for working on YouTube, for viewing YouTube, um, virtually everything except uh, uh, Office projects that involve a lot of Microsoft Office Suite um, products. But uh, anyway, this is what I bought, and uh, it has really served me well. Um, the, um, the Sierra system supports, uh, let me get you over to iMovie really quickly. Uh, the, the Sierra system will support iMovie, about iMovie. Uh, that Sierra operating system with the 16 gigs, um, uh, gigabytes will support iMovie version 10.1.6, which is what I'm going to show you. I don't think that's the latest release, but I do think it has 4K in it and it is uh, consistent with the iPhone 7 that can record in 4K, which you do not need to record in 4K. If, if you can get up to 1080, um, you're, you're doing great. Um, but anyway, that is the iMovie I'm running. I showed you the operating system. Now going back to eBay, um, like I said, I bought mine used. If you wanted to try to find a used MacBook that would support that, I would really try to stay in 2013, 2014. Um, here is one i5 2015, 8 gigabyte of RAM. That's 699, but I think you could do better. Um, here's a mid 2013 for 450, um, 499. Here is a 1.3 gigahertz i5, uh, 4 gigabyte. Yeah, I'd, I'd stay, I think, above the 4 gigabyte. I think I'd go to 8. Um, so uh, you're in this 500 and uh, you might even want to push that to $600 range to try to get you up to a mid-2014 model. Um, the thing with Apple and Macs is uh, there's a point where they don't upgrade them any longer because they're not powerful enough. I think that's currently like prior to 2010. You basically won't be able to upgrade to the newer software and get any of the enhancements. So uh, if you get yourself a 2013, 2014, 2015, you'll have many, many years of upgradability on these, and you'll get a more current version of iMovie. If I didn't say it already, iMovie does come uh, free uh, with the uh, embedded software in the Mac, and uh, it is really intuitive. Again, I've used other stuff, and I hope uh, some of you will post about what you're using, especially if it's free, if you're using it on an IBM operating system, which most people run. But uh, more so than that, the impediment that I had is that I just do not learn things from manuals, and I just don't, um, I'm just not able to study manuals with complex instructions. And I found virtually all of the other low cost uh, editing software out there to be beyond me. I just could not make it work for a simple YouTube video. Whereas with iMovie, um, after watching some reviews of this, um, I could not believe how simple this product is and how easy and intuitive it is. It is really amazing. Okay, this is uh, one of the screens you'll see. This is basically your screen for um, the beginning of your video. Assuming you record on your iPhone or you record on a 
camera that can be put into your computer, right, loaded into your desktop. And then you go about the process of creating your iMovie from this one simple screen. First you go over to settings and you see if you want a theme. Okay, all these themes are embedded in here. They're already pre-programmed. If you want to do a comic book theme, a film strip, a scrapbook, uh, if you're doing family videos, the scrapbook format is wonderful. Your, your family will love the products you create with this, um, with this system. Uh, newscast, here's one. Anybody know whose channel that is? Yeah, Junius Maltby, right? He uses iMovie. That's uh, you know one of the elements of his success, I think, is having a good quality video editor. Um, so uh, you can pick any of those. Uh, let's pick uh, Playful, right? Okay, so now we have the format set. All we do is look for media. All right, we're going to upload media from my desktop. Um, here is, uh, well, let's see. Let's look for something interesting to upload here. Um, uh, let's look for something interesting to upload, something maybe I've taped recently. Oh, well, well, this is our lead picture, right? This is just a, a JPEG, but uh, there you put her in there. You click, okay, now you've got your lead in, your title, cool video, right? Okay, now you got a title. Now you need some music, great. You go to the, um, the audio section, and you have got dozens and dozens of uh, music clips, Here's a lazy day. Want to put that in there? You just drag it in. It's too long. So what do you do? Split it and dump it, right? Now you've got the intro to your video. It's done. It is unique uh, in whatever way you want it to be. And now you're looking for content, right? So back to media. Uh, let's look for something that I recorded. Uh, I typically uh, delete things that I um, that I um, make videos of because um, you can't you can't store um, you can't store videos in your laptop. They take too much space. You have to offload them to um, to the cloud or to uh, to a backup device of some kind. Okay, here's a pouring video I did. Um, now that's in there, right? So you want that to be your content. Click that down. It's now there. You're going to have a seamless. Um, here, let's just go back to the beginning of this. You see this? Okay. It's, you're going right into your video. And then, if you want to, uh, let's say you want to add some more, um, you want to add some more pictures of some kind. Um, here's a desk that I was selling. Not not important what the content is here, but you know you want to do a cutaway then you're going to have your video. It's going to cut away, move, and crop um, for these images that uh, you have here. You can crop them. You can have them move around. You can embed them in weird ways. You can make them on the left side, on the right side. Um, for the video itself, you have a speed editor if you want to make it go super fast, right? Okay. Um, you've got all these transitions you can move from, spin in, spin out, fade in, fade out, backgrounds of all different kinds, you know, that you might want. Again, with the auditing, you have uh, Foley, if you want to do, you know, some crazy Foley, alarm clocks or cash register. Um, and it is just kind of like that. It's like this video, I would typically have an ending on it, and I might, you can overdub it, you can bring in your own garage band, um, you know, if you play music or want to create your own music, you can bring in garage band and just drop it in. You can put soundtracks over soundtracks. Um, so I think you get the idea um, that uh, it's a really powerful, but more importantly, it is a really intuitive product and I couldn't be happier with it. Um, I just, I use this, uh, uh, you know, this uh, Mac and the software constantly. Um, uh, sorry, got cut off there. Uh, just to wrap up really quickly, when you're all done, you're happy with your, your video and you got your ending on it and everything, um, you just uh, go over to the, um, uh, this little button here. It will give you, send it to file. You want to send it to a file, 
you, um, you click next and you have basically created your video file. Um, that takes a couple minutes and then from there you can upload that.